Welcome back. Do remember, all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Log on to m.channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. Besides the news and updates, the Channels TV app has an eyewitness feature. We encourage you to use it to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. Now, speaking of some of those pictures that you sent into our eyewitness portal, uh, we'd like to show them to you shortly. And we begin with this one, and it's of students of the Ambrose Ali University in Edo State protesting an alleged hike in school fees. Our eyewitness reporter says the students are contesting the rationale behind the increase and are asking for fairer rates. Next is this one from Bielsa State showing another protest, this time about people who are accusing the government of taking over their land for projects. The eyewitness who took the picture says while registering their grievances, they blocked the only entrance to the Niger Delta University for over eight hours. That must have been inconvenient. Now this one is in the southwest. It's of a bad road. It's in Igomo, really. The eyewitness is calling on the state government to begin fixing such roads now that rainfall is over. And also in Lagos State, this picture, the eyewitness who commends the bus rapid transit service is calling on operators to recruit more ticket vendors and more buses to reduce service delays and crowds at the bus stops. Thank you for sending these pictures. Please keep them coming. And now to the education sector and Cross River State, the challenge of keeping a standard education sector or standard in the sector is paramount to the administration. This explains why the management of the state universal education team embarked on what they call a cleanup in Cross River. The result is the discovery of about 300 fake teachers, most of whom had forged certificates. It's now a common occurrence for government to conduct a verification exercise to ascertain the status of staff. Nowadays, people get into the civil service, not on merit, but due to the political patronage, and in most cases, certificates and other vital documents tendered are not verified before employment is given. The result of a verification exercise carried out in Cross River State shows clearly that about 300 teachers in the state have no business being in the classroom. I was shocked when I got to some schools and discovered that some teachers were very, very incompetent. And I said, when you look at, when you talk about falling standard of education, there are so many factors. And our teachers are also part of it. So when you get to a school and you discover that a teacher is not able to communicate effectively, then I asked, you cannot give what you do not have. There's something wrong somewhere. So I embarked on that personnel uh, uh, because I was in doubt of the, 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 the certificate they possess. Another challenge is the dearth of infrastructure, as most schools do not have adequate facilities to cope with the volume of students. In the course of my inspection and monitoring of uh, activities within the state, I discovered that most of our children sit on the floor to write, and there can never be any effective teaching and learning in that situation. And so we decided to intervene immediately. Recruitment for new teachers, according to the state government, is ongoing. But care is being taken to get the right people in. Because anything different will mean taking two steps forward and ten steps back. Now, Nigeria's former president, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, has supported the patronage of locally made goods in the face of the current economic realities, especially with the recession. He was speaking in Abokuta, the Ogun state capital, while receiving the Abia state governor, Mr. Okeze Ekbazu, who introduced some of the products made in Aba to the former president. Um, if we are going to get out of our recession, we can only produce and trade 
to get us out of our recession. And we can. We have to get ourselves away from an easy option. There's no easy option to get out of a difficult situation. The hard option is hard work, production, and trade. Trade internally, trade within Africa, and trade with the rest of the world. We, we are yet in clusters and we are trying to pro provide uh, electricity, we are trying to provide uh, common facilities so that uh, quality control will be uh, high up there. Uh, uh, the government has established a quality control agency whose duty is to make sure that they, are, they meet minimum standards in terms of what they are doing. Mr. Okezek Pazu, Governor Abia State. Now, to Imo State, where uh, also in the same region, the southeast, where the state government has urged striking health workers at the Federal Medical Center in Oweri to sheathe their swords, return to work after a prolonged strike. The Imo State Governor, Rocha Sokorocha, who was represented by the State Commissioner for Health, Women and Social Development, Mrs. Ngozunjoku, gave the charge during a meeting held in Oweri to deliberate on the possible ways to end the crisis. Now, she says government was worried about the continuous deprivation of quality and affordable health care to the people of the state because of the strikes. The never-ending strike by the Joint Health Sector Union. The hope that this protest, which took place in October, would push for the needed change appears not to have yielded any results. This has brought together stakeholders connected to the Federal Medical Center in Oweri, the Imo State capital, to chart new strategies of getting the agreed workers back to their offices. First stop is the health commissioner, who says that unless there is dialogue between the management and workers, those in the middle will continue to suffer. It is important thing to play politics with the heart of the people. Also lamenting the situation is the chairman of the Oweri Council of Traditional Rulers, whose office had tried to call the striking workers to order to no avail. Uh, my message, which is the message of the traditional rulers in Imo State in general and Oweri Zone in particular, is that the country and the world in general we are passing through challenging situations, strife, wars, hunger, poverty, and that the striking workers must find an alternative means of resolving whatever grievances they have, and they must return to work so that millions of humanoids that benefit from the specialist medical facilities and services at the Federal Medical Center will continue to do so. There's optimism that the recommendations made here will reach the right quarters, and more than that, put an end to this matter once and for all. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, the federal government to install satellites at airports would also be looking to get a reaction concerning the strike action in Imo State of the Federal Medical Center health workers. Stay with us.